Hi and welcome to another video by me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flow Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the power effects function color value. Now why is color value an important function? Well if you're like me and you like using hex for your colors because you've got some kind of web development background and you're not used to using RGBA so much, I mean RGBA is great, people use that in web development as well, but Preferably for me, I use hex based colors. So if you want to use these in Power Apps, you can actually do that with the color value function. But not only that, you can also just type the names of colors in. Now, PowerFX does have a color, and then you can do dot and then select the name of a color, but you can also type it in as well with the color value function. So let's actually take a look at this function in action then. Well, on your screen here, you can see I've got an example where I've got color value, capital C, capital V, and I'm opening up in the parentheses, I've got quotation marks, then I've got the hashtag, and then I've got the, the hex number, then I'm closing the quotation marks and closing the parentheses. What this then does is rather than having to put RGBA and then the RGB, uh, color as well as the um, opacity in there. What you can actually do is just use the hex number and it will change the color. So if I click on here, this is just a label and I've got some text in it saying this has been changed with a hex color. And in the color section, so in the color section up here, I've got color value and I've got the opening the parentheses, the quotation marks, and then the hex value, quote, closing the uh, quotation marks and closing the parentheses. And it's exactly what we've got here. And as you can see, the color has changed. But let's go on to a site and just see some other colors that we may want to use. So for example, here we've got this purple one. If I just copy this and then I come back into here and I am now on Power Apps, and I can just paste my hex based color into it. You can see that it now matches the color changed. And again, let's try it again. We'll just go into another one. Let's try and get a yellow this time. And what we'll do is we'll come back into Power Apps, and we will then change this hex based color here. So as you can see, the color is changing based on a hex based format rather than RGBA. So if this is more in line with what you are used to, you can actually use hex based colors in Power Apps um, as well as anywhere where PowerFX is used, such as Copilot Studio. Okay, so we've looked at the hex based stuff, but previously I had mentioned that you can actually do it based on just typing a color name. So if I type red here, you can see that an argument um, of the color value uh, function error gets thrown. But that's because as soon as I start typing, it starts checking. So if I put R, it's going to check that is R a color. No, it's not, so it's going to throw an error. So if you decide to go along this route, you need to make sure you, you put the whole name in and then the error will disappear and then the color will change. So let's try that again with brown, for example. Again, you saw the, that start that popped up before I'd finished typing brown, but now I've typed brown, the color has changed, and that error has gone. So if you are going to take this approach, you need to think about um, what's your preference on color bases. Is it RGBA, where you can just type RGBA and then put the RGB colors in? If you are more familiar with a hex-based color format, then you can actually use that in Power Apps um, as well as if you just want to type a name, you can either type color value and then type the name of it, or you, what you could do is you could do color dot and then actually, um, oops, type brown in for example, and it does exactly the same thing as if you've typed color value, opened it up, type brown, and then uh, close the parentheses. That is doing the same thing as doing color dot brown. This is exactly the same type of thing that's going on in the background. Um, so you're going to get exactly the same color, but it's all based on preference. Now, everyone is different. Me personally, I prefer hex based colors. 
obviously with R um, RGBA, you can use opacity on that. So it works well in some instances, especially if you want to make it more transparent. But for me personally, I just prefer the hex based thing because that is what I am used to. And I much prefer knowing what colors I'm using based on the, um, the hashtag because I am so used to doing that, type in hash FFF, et cetera, um, is just something that I've been doing throughout my career for a long time. So if you've come from a web-based background or something similar where you've been using hex a lot, this may be a solution for you, especially coming into Power Apps because it will give you more familiarity with the colors in the functions that you're trying to achieve. So I hope this has helped uh, with your color journey in Power Apps. If you have any comments or questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and hit that like and subscribe button to help support the channel. See ya.